Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question for the given op-amp circuit, we have been asked to find the output voltage. So first of all, let me just redraw the same circuit so that it becomes easy to find the output voltage. So here, let's say this is the op-amp number one and this is the op-amp number two. So here, this resistor R1 is connected at the inverting terminal of this first op-amp and the other end is connected to this plus V voltage. Now here, this resistor is the feedback resistor between the output and the inverting terminal. And the output is connected to the one end of this resistor. And if you see the second end of this resistor R, then it is connected to the inverting terminal of this second op-amp. Similarly, the one end of this resistor R1 is connected to the inverting terminal of this second op-amp. And the second terminal is connected to the plus V volt. So if I just redraw the same circuit, then it will look like this. So as you can see, this resistor is the feedback resistor between the inverting terminal and the output terminal. Similarly, this resistor R1 is connected between the plus V volt and the inverting terminal. And as you can see, the output of this first op-amp is connected to this resistor R. And this resistor R1 is appearing between the plus V volt and the inverting terminal. So now if you see this circuit, then it is easy to find the output voltage. So here, the first op-amp is configured in the inverting configuration. And the output of the first op-amp is connected to the second op-amp via this resistor R. So first of all, let us find the output of this first op-amp. So let's say the output of this first op-amp is equal to Vx. So this voltage Vx is equal to minus R times 1 plus alpha divided by R1 times plus V volt. So we know that in the inverting configuration, the output of the op-amp can be given as minus RF divided by R1 times input voltage. So using the same equation, we have written this expression. Now this voltage Vx is applied to the second op-amp. So here, to find the output of the second op-amp, let us consider one voltage source at a time. And using the superposition principle, we will find the output voltage. So first of all, let us consider this voltage Vx alone. And let us assume that this second voltage is equal to zero. So here, because of the virtual ground, this terminal will be at the ground potential. And the second terminal of this resistor R1 is already at the ground potential. That means effectively, this resistor R1 is not appearing in the circuit. So in this case, let's say the output is equal to VO1. So this voltage VO1 is equal to minus R2 divided by R times Vx. Similarly, now let us consider the second source. And let us assume that this plus V volt is acting alone and this voltage source Vx is equal to zero. So in this condition, let's say the output is equal to VO2 and this voltage is equal to minus R2 divided by R1 times V. So if you see the overall output voltage, then this V out is equal to minus R2 divided by R1 times V minus R2 divided by R times Vx. So in this expression, let us put the value of Vx. So by putting the value of Vx, we can write this expression as V out is equal to minus R2 divided by R1 times V minus R2 divided by R times R times 1 plus alpha divided by R1 times minus V. Because here, the first op-amp is configured in the inverting configuration. And because of that, here we have a negative sign. So this negative negative will become positive. So here, the R in the numerator and the denominator will get cancelled out. And if you see the old equation, then this output voltage V out is equal to minus R2 divided by R1 times V plus R2 divided by R1 times 1 plus alpha times V. And if you further simplify it, then we will have this R2 divided by R1 times 
alpha times v so this will be the output voltage of the given circuit and therefore for the given question this b is the correct answer